นยุบเธอเลยฮัลโหลเพื่อนส์ไอโฮฟยูอาร์ดูอินเกรดอาวุธเดอันทุเดย์ในวิดีโอไอ้ผมจะพูดถึงการใช้วิธีการฟอลซ์เมธอดอีกชื่อหนึ่งก็คือฟอลซ์โพสิชันเมธอดและนี่คือวิธีการตัดสินใจก่อนเราต้องแนะนำให้เราตั้งค่าฟังก์ชันหรือเราจะเรียกว่า f(x) ฟังก์ชัน f(x) และข้อต่อไปคือหาจุดฟังก์ชัน a และ b ซึ่งเท่ากันว่า f(a) กับ a ต่อ f(b) เท่ากัน0เท่ากันนั่นหมายความว่าการตัดสินใจของทั้งสองจุดนั้นควรจะเป็นค่าลบซึ่งเท่ากันกับ0ซึ่งเท่ากันกับ0ถัดไปหลังจากหาจุดฟังก์ชัน Correct interval. We'll go to the step three. By this formula, we are going to find the value of x2. X2 is a value in between this interval, which is nearer to the root of this equation f(x). Okay, and the actual formula looks like this. x2 is equal to x0 minus x1 minus x0 by f(x1) minus f(x0) into f(x0). That is the formula, and you can go for the theorem too. But I am not going to explain the theorem now. This we are just going to use this formula for find to find the value of f x2 and After getting that x2, we are going to check the value of x2 whether it is less than zero or greater than zero. If value of x2 is less than zero, then x0 is equal to x2. Or if it is greater than zero, then x1 is equal to x2. Then we will go to And then, if f of x2 is equal to zero, that means x2 is the root of the equation. Root of the equation. And if it is not the root, then we are going to <coughs> do the step three again, because it's a loop actually. Else, go to the step three again. Then again, we are going to find out a new x2 because intervals has changed now, because at least x0 or x1, any of those values should be changed after one iteration. Then we are going to find out a new x2 that is closer to the root, and then going to do the same thing until we get the value of x2, which is f of x2 is zero, and we are going to do the same thing again and again. So we can write a program in C language, exactly doing the same thing. Let's say here is the form. Here is the program for regular false method, and here is our three header files. Yeah, you need to include that math dot h header file because we are going to use a function for absolute value. And then you can define any equation you want. Here I gave a equation x cube minus five x minus seven, and then our main method. So I have taken three float variables and one int variables, integer type of variables that is k, to know the number of iterations. It is like count. And then a do while loop to get the intervals. Enter the range and then we'll put the range. If the multiplication of these two is greater than zero, then the range is not correct. Then the loop will rotate again until it gets the correct interval. After getting that interval, then we have to find out the x2 as per the algorithm. And here we are calculating the x2, same formula again, 
and after getting the value of x2 if f of x2 is greater than 0 then we are going to change x1 otherwise x0 and f of x2 if it is almost 0 because by this formula we are not directly going to jump into the root so the root and the value of f of x2 will not be 0 suddenly it will it will go closer after every iteration closer to the root so if it is almost 0 we will take that value so 0 0.0001 0, 0, 0, that is almost 0 if the value is greater than this we will rotate this loop again and if it is almost 0 then we will stop the loop and print that value of f of x2 and the number of iterations that's it hope you got that idea and if you want to run this program it, here is the same program and let's run it and let's say first we have give we have given the value of range 1 and 2 so this is not the range for this equation so let's say 3 2 and 3 okay the answer lies between 2 and 3 so it has taken the range and here is our values after every iteration and the root for this equation is 2.747346 and number of iteration needed to calculate the load calculate the root is 7 that's it hope you enjoyed the video and i will go i will put the formula in the description have a great day